Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here again with Automation Links. Today I wanna to talk about how you can take your business to the next level. Now I've had experience with this a couple different times. Number one with my fitness business where I was actually doing it wrong and now with our website Automation Links business where we're doing it right, slowly but surely taking the right steps for future growth. So if you wanna grow your business and if you wanna truly scale with more customers, help more people, then listen up uh, for the rest of this video. So number one, we need to determine if you even want to grow. So this is something a lot of people don't even think about. Are you willing to take the risk, um, take on some more stress, uh, invest money into your business to grow? It's a lot. It takes a lot out of you mentally, uh, time-wise. So you have to determine, are you the type of person that wants to grow your business, take it to the next level, or are you happy where you're at, you're at and you just want to stay there and uh, you're satisfied with that. Now, if you wanna stay where you're at, you don't wanna grow, completely fine. I totally get it. Now, you're, you'll are you also be missing out on you know becoming an entrepreneur, making more money, growing the business, and helping more people, but we respect that if you don't wanna grow. Uh, number three I wanna go over is where are you at right now? So if you do wanna grow, you answered question number one, yes, I wanna grow, I wanna grow my business and scale it. Uh, where are you at right now? Are you struggling? Are you first starting out and just struggling? Um, are you kind of in that middle point where you have some stability, you have some clients, uh, you're making a little bit of money, and that's where you're at right there? Do you feel, or do you feel like you're successful right now? Have you grown your business big enough to where it feels like you're successful? Or number four, are you to the point where you're truly ready to scale? You have a successful business, you have a lot of clients helping a lot of people, now you're ready to take it as far as you possibly can. Now, once you determine that, we can kind of go from there. If you're at the beginning phases, um, reach out to a mentor or a coach to help you get to the success part. And now when you're successful, you can turn that money and turn to a, another business that will help you scale. Uh, it's really hard to scale on your own, so you need to find the right business to help you get to from successful to scaling. And then last but not least is perfecting your systems and automation. That's where I just went through it. So where our automation links is becoming successful, we're helping a lot of people, um, we're building the business, and now we're ready to scale. So what we're doing is we're taking time before we scale to make perfect systems and perfect automation. Now, just last year, I was dealing with anxiety and stress and overwhelm. If you're there, you know what I was going through, if you've been there or if that's what you're going through right now. And the reason being is I didn't have a scheduler. I didn't have automated things in place to handle um, different things like customers reaching out or customer issues or you know anything uh, that somebody that dealt with customers. I didn't have that in place, so I was basically just running, not sure, you know, no clear direction. So now is your time, no matter what stage you're in, to set up your systems and automation so you're able to scale without adding extra stress. So you can see right here on the. Um, on the page direction number one, you could get super busy and stressed as you start to grow your business. Or if you're able to set up the systems and automation, it's gonna actually free up more time for you so you can focus on growing and scaling the business and obviously increase revenue. One last thing I wanna touch on is focus on making your product better. Because imagine if you start growing and you start getting tens, hundreds, and thousands of customers helping all those people and a lot of them are not happy or they have complaints. Do you have the systems in place to handle those? Maybe, but do you wanna to have to get new customers every month because your old customers were canceling? So while you're setting up your systems and automation, you should also be focusing on making your product the best. So now you're able to handle more clients while keeping all your past clients happy. And that's when you're truly gonna be able to scale is when all of your past clients are happy. Let's say you have a 50, 50 customers, 100 customers, 1,000 customers you can keep them all happy and keep doubling that, that's when your business is truly gonna grow. Uh, there's a word called churn, that's when somebody cancels after a certain amount of time. If you have high churn, a lot of people canceling, it's like having to fill up a bucket every month. Your bucket gets emptied, you gotta refill it. And you're just gonna be spinning the hamster wheel, you're gonna be stressed, and you're never gonna be able to grow. So make sure you keep continuing to make your product better. So if you are feeling like you're a success, like you have money to invest in scaling, make sure you reach out to us at Automation Links. We will help you. And if you're at the very beginning of the stages, maybe in the struggling stages or the stability stage, 
reach out to us and we'll give you our relationship marketing guide that will actually help you on your own get to the success part so then we can really start scaling your business. So thanks again for joining me on this episode. I appreciate it. Send us a message, relationship, and we'll send over the relationship marketing guide right away. I'll talk to you soon.